Behind the menacing figure of the Minotaur living in the labyrinth and the romanticized story of Ariadne, who helped the mighty Theseus escape the labyrinth with a ball of golden thread, some of the details of this myth get lost. Twelve aspects of the story of Theseus and Ariadne that you might not have known. 1. The Minotaur was named Asterius at birth. True to the king of Crete, Minos, he was not a son, but a stepson, because he was born to Queen Pasiphae not from her husband, but from a miraculous bull given to Minos Poseidon, and, according to some versions, and from Poseidon himself. The child from birth was unusual, he was characterized by unprecedented strength and cruelty, and, over time, turned into a monster with the body of a man and the head of a bull. In order to hide such an unusual child from prying eyes, the king built the famous Knossos Labyrinth, in the heart of which he settled the stepson. Then the name of the prince was forgotten, and another name appeared instead, Minotaur, Minus Bull. 2. Knossos Labyrinth was built by the famous Daedalus. So that the master could not tell anyone about how to get out of the labyrinth, as well as about the specific character of its inhabitant, Minos practically imprisoned the master in the royal palace, from where Daedalus tried to escape with the help of homemade wings together with his son Icarus. No impudent impulse to compete with the gods, only a longing for freedom. 3. Theseus, though he was a son of the Athenian king Aegeus, had never been to Athens until he came of age. He was brought up in Trasinus, in his mother's homeland. The whole point is that the power of Aegeus in Athens was not strong and was constantly challenged by the sons of Pallant. Ambitious young men believed that Aegeus was not the native son of Pandion, and, therefore, his rights to power were no more than they themselves, because they were the former king of blood kin. Under the pretext of hiding the child from the treacherous Palantides, Aegeus left Trazina before the birth of his son, leaving his mother a sword and sandals under a huge stone. They say that when the son grows up enough to be able to lift this stone, he will have to take the sword, put on sandals and come to Athens to his father, but until then his upbringing is the mother's concern. 4. By the way, Theseus was the son of two fathers at once. Earthly, which was the Athenian king Aegeus, and divine, Poseidon. So, at least according to some versions of the myth of Theseus and Minotaur, the battle in the labyrinth was not just a battle of a hero and a monster. It was a battle between two brothers, albeit half-brothers. 5. Athens paid tribute to Minos, seven young men and seven young women annually, for a reason. It was a ransom for the son of the Cretan king, Androgeus, who died in Attica. The prince arrived in Attica with a friendly visit and won a lot of sports competitions, and then, suddenly, died on a hunt. According to some versions of the myth, it was an accident, and according to others, Aegeus ordered to kill the guest because he sympathized with the sons of Palladius and planned to support their rebellion against Aegeus. Be that as it may, after the death of the prince, Crete went to war with Athens, Athens lost and had to pay Crete a sad tribute. 6. The daughter of Minos, Ariadne, was from birth destined to marry Dionysus, the god of winemaking and son of Zeus. All the matter is that the younger of Olympic gods once resented such belated birth, having declared to the father that he even has no one to marry, as all immortal beauties worthy of attention are already married. On what Zeus has decided to console the son and has told that it will take to itself in a wife the most beautiful of terrestrial Serevna as which an Ariadne should become, and Zeus will give her immortality. 7. Such unceremonious matchmaking to the girl, who was not even born yet, angered Aphrodite, and she decided to resist the will of Zeus, becoming the patroness of the young beauty. She promised Ariadne that, despite Zeus' words, she would be able to choose her own husband. It was Aphrodite who drew Ariadne's attention to Theseus and practically convinced the girl that a couple of fleeting glances she threw at the hero was love. 8. It is difficult to say what Dionysus was busy with when Theseus took his bride away from her parents' house, but when the fugitives reached the island of Naxos, where they decided to make a parking lot, Dionysus came to Theseus and claimed his rights to the girl. Theseus thought that it was better not to argue with the god and left Ariadne sleeping on Naxos, and sailed to Athens. 9. 
Annoyed, Aphrodite decided to take revenge on Theseus for giving in to Dionysus' exhortations and leaving Ariadne on Naxos. She knew that the hero had made a deal with his father that, if he won, the sails on his ship would be white, not mourning black as they had been when he set sail. Aphrodite filled the hero's heart with longing for Ariadne, and he forgot to change the sail. According to another version, the goddess persuaded one of the winds to tear the sails off the hero's ship, and Theseus simply had no choice but to go to the Athenian shores under a black sail. 10. Theseus' father Aegeus was waiting for his son on the shore, and when he saw the black sail, he threw himself from the rock into the sea. This sea is called the Aegean Sea to this day. In spite of the fact that Aegeus waited from the sea for his son whom he had not seen for many years and hardly knew at all, in Greek mythology he is considered to be almost the standard of paternal love. 11. Ariadne married Dionysus and, as it should be the wife of the god, gained immortality. True, she did not get her own cult, she remained just another girl, albeit immortal, in the crowd of Bacantes, glorifying Dionysus. 12. Theseus' personal life has always been turbulent. But none of his three marriages were successful. His first wife was Antiope, either a queen or a princess of the Amazons defeated by the hero. In this marriage, the couple even had a son, Hippolytus. However, soon Theseus was attracted to another, he planned to marry Ariadne's sister Phaedra. However, the marriage did not work out too well. His wife fell in love not with Theseus, but with his grown-up son. The young man rejected his stepmother's claims, and she accused him of violence. Theseus did not believe his son and not only banished him, but also asked Poseidon to destroy the young man, he died, and Phaedra, having learned about what happened, committed suicide. In ancient times Theseus was the undisputed hero of this myth. Despite a lot of very questionable actions, he entered the pliad of the most beloved and revered heroes of Hellas. But later the myth was not so clearly perceived, and the story of victory in the labyrinth became more a story about Ariadne and her choice.